Well, one golfer who knows a little something about achieving major glory is China's Feng Shan Shan. She did make history last year in winning the LPGA Championship to become this nation's first major champion. Feng is a former prodigy from here in China, and she's been able to translate her promise into results, and her win at the LPGA last summer cemented her place among the elite golfing women on the globe. That was Feng's first LPGA win, though, after five LPGA of Japan and two ladies European Tour victories and lifted her all the way up to fifth in the world rankings. She currently sits seventh in those rankings. And Fung recently sat down with us for an exclusive look at her life, her game, and her dreams for the future. Here now is our Wang Dong going one on one with China's best women's golfer, Fung Shan Shan. Shan Shan, great to have you with us. Did it surprise you that you have already become China's first golfer, male or female, to win the worldwide major title? Last year was my fifth year on the LPGA. And uh, before the major win, I didn't have any victory. So uh, it really surprised me that you know my first win on the LPGA was the major. So uh, it made me even more happy. Would you say this kind of honor actually came very soon, or too soon, even sooner than I expected? Well, uh, I would say that was a little surprising, but uh, uh, I was expecting it because that was already my fifth year. And uh, I think I kept improving, you know, every year. And I think last year I was ready. How did you get started to uh, love this sport of golf? When I was 10, uh, I mean, my father worked for the golf association in Guangzhou, and uh, which he's still doing the same job right now. And uh, uh, we had the junior team in Guangzhou. And uh, my father said to me, he said, like, You're, I, I don't think you believe it. Like, when I was little, I was really white and really skinny, like almost like ill. So and then my father said to me, like, you have, you, you need to choose a sport to, you know, try to make you more healthy. Finally, we chose, uh, we chose golf, and then I just started to play golf. In at six under, and maybe the first win for a player from mainland China, Shen Shen Feng. Well, your success really, uh, like you said, definitely uh, has been a boost to China, especially to the development of Chinese golfer. What kind of role model do you really want to uh, set up for many people? It sounds like maybe it's uh, hard for many people to reach it, but I would say I actually want to show the people that, you know, um, I started golf at 10, which is late compared to the others. Right. And uh, I won the major when I was 23 year old. Uh, 22 actually and uh, I didn't have good coaches when I was in China but now uh, the kids are starting at from maybe five or six and they have really co good coaches right now and if I can win a major at 22 I say they can win maybe at 18 or 17 mm -hmm. uh, especially when we see Tian Lang Guan right now he's only 14 but he's already made a cut at uh, one of the majors so uh, I, I, I would say that I want to prove to the people that they can do it too. Well, speaking of Tian Long Guang or Guan Tian Long in Chinese, and what do you make of his success there uh, at the U.S. Masters? He really uh, impressed, impressed me. Uh, we are both from Guangzhou, so I think he started golf when he was maybe five. So I, was, I watched him, you know, when he was just starting golf. And at first, I, I think maybe you, you can't believe that you know, he, he was uh, crying, always crying on the, in the range. And then like crying, like say, I don't want to practice and sitting down on the mats and like people wouldn't believe it. But then and now after uh, a few years, um, you know, I was, I mean, when he was playing in the masters, I actually watched uh, through TV. Um, he was really mature. He was really uh, confident and he wasn't afraid of the others. Uh, I was really impressed. The Awareness of LPGA is not as much as PGA. Is that fair to you? Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, that's where it is right now. And uh, I would say that, you know, even though maybe I'm a lady, but I still won a major. Uh, of course, if a man would have winning a major, it will actually affect a lot more. Um, but I was really proud of, proud of my result and uh, 
I'm really looking forward, you know, to seeing maybe in the future that when the ladies golf and the men's golf can be like the same, um, like maybe like tennis. Whenever you have a chance to come to Guangzhou, your hometown, your birthplace, you will spend some time here as well. Right? Yes, I will every time when I come back. I'm nervous, I'm getting nervous because <laughs> Shenzhen is teaching me right now. <laughs> so now you get nervous, eh? Yeah. What are your special trademarks? Precision, patience, name them, please. I say patience. Um, that's what my coach always uh, you know, keep telling me. So I used to think that golf was a, a sport about perfection. I thought everything had to be perfect. I couldn't, I couldn't miss any shot uh, because I'm a pro. But and then I actually learned to know that it's not about uh, perfection. It's all about uh, being patient and how to handle the pressure and, uh, and then just try to you know, perform the best. Um, and then I think that's what I learned the most from last year. Uh, so last year was uh, the best year of my career so far. And uh, of course I won a major too, so I think. <laughs> And also, when you have some ample time or some spare time, you would like to set up your own academy, is that right? Yes, I will. Uh, I think that's always uh, part of my, my dream. Um, you know, I don't only want to be a successful golfer um, because now I have experiences and um, I've gone through some toughness. So, you know, uh, I don't want them to go through the same thing again. So. I want to open an academy, maybe uh, working with my coach together, and then uh, we'll try to um, help more people to start golf, like especially juniors. And uh, well, maybe we'll have some Shan Shan Fangs from the academy. <laughs> Shan Shan Fang, this for birdie at 15. Good job. It does get there. Player from China who's won a major championship. Shen Shen, I believe 2016 might be a very important year for you and also for your career and also for the Chinese, perhaps, scalping team. And uh, what does that mean really to you, given that golf will be, again, included in the Olympics family? I think it will help a lot. Like last year, even though I won a major and I was named the best uh, non-Olympic athlete you know, in China, um, but still, I didn't see much change, you know, on golf in China. Um, but now, golf is in uh, 2006 uh, Olympic, and if some, maybe, maybe it's not me, but hopefully it's me. <laughs> so if uh, some Chinese golfers can have some results showing the Chinese that, you know, Chinese, Chinese can be good at golf. Can you imagine? On that big occasion, if Shenzhen wins a medal, not to mention a gold medal, yeah. what will be her first reaction? It will be, I don't know, crying maybe? <laughs> so I watched the Olympics many times, and every time, like the reputation, reputation at the end, uh, it will be like having your flags uh, going up with your, playing, with playing your national song, yeah. So, uh, I, I think, you know, I'm having that in my mind right now and I think my first reaction was just cry. <laughs> we certainly would like to see that moment. We look forward to that moment, Shenzhen. Thank you.